eight cylinder inline pump equipped with an electronic uh, diesel control. First of all, this one is a Virgin, you can see it here, that's the original seal from Bosch. And also here inside you can see that one is black, when I'm ready with a pump there is a red one there. This one, original, and that's original but okay, it has been loose. This one goes on only seven cylinders and uh, we should take a look inside what's wrong with it. First of all, we're going to start with taking the governor cover away, this one, here. So hang on. This is the rack for the advanced adjustment. There's a magnet there. This little short circuit ring it can be trashed here. So then the uh, electronic control device in the machine doesn't get any response from the from the pump and then it doesn't work. Okay. Next thing to do is to take the delivery valves home. Uh, broken. So, like that. And more to come here inside. Oh, you can see it. I can see. I can see it, but you can see it. There's so much small, 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 small particles inside there. So therefore, I have to take the complete pump to pieces, and uh, I have to clean it up, and I will change all the eight delivery valves, and after that, I will take it up to the test page. Yeah. Yeah. Last piece from that one. Okay, empty housing, here you see the 8 pump element and also here you can see the timing device. This is what uh, makes the H pump so special, it has a special pump element. Okay, Bosch H series, and uh, now we're going to put the pump together. We have some new pieces here. We have new delivery valves and new gaskets, and uh, we use the old pump element. So here. We okay, pump element mounting. This must be falling by its own. Start with the delivery valve, like that. Spring, top, 
and then the delivery valve holder. Tighten it by hand and then you must have it by the correct torch. And then you take the o-ring and put it over here. There. A little grease here so it would fold. There you got it. H pump. When you mount the pump element inside here, you just have to put it down like this. On a regular PEEP series pump, you have a shims here for the uh, uh, internal timing, the facing. That's not uh, what we have on the H pump. On the H pump, we have this this rack here, and it's equipped with different shims with different heights. Here are all the shims, you can see them. Okay, now we have to take the uh, tappet lifter, this one, into the pump. The tappet lifter, we must have the tappet lifter in the upper position when we put the camshaft in. So this is how I do it. Plugs must go back. New ones. Okay, pump in test bench. First of all, we must uh, measure the pre-stroke. And to do that, we have a special device back here. This one is for the uh, rack travel, and this one is for the advanced travel. Up here, we have a watch that measuring the rack travel and this one measures the pre-stroke and the pre-stroke for the moment on this pump should be 5.65 millimeters and then we shall have a fuel cut off here so hang on